guys, it's Dallin down at KSM Music. We've got some really exciting news to share with you today. We finally got our awesome stock of nickel bridges in. Man, these things are so awesome, nice and shiny. Brand new, hot off the press. Check these things out. So anyway, what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to take a base we have right here in front of us. This is a standard stock four string base with your regular stock barrel style bridge. Odds are at home the base you have has a bridge very similar if not exact to this one. So we're going to go ahead and play the space for a minute so we can see how it sounds uh, just with the stock bridge on there. And then we're going to go ahead, take a look at the KSM nickel bridge, swap them out and do a little comparison and see what kind of an improvement you guys can get on your own base at home. Especially for all you guys that are uh, into down tuning your bases. These are a lot more stable and will help your, uh, your sound immensely. So let's check it out okay guys so here we have our awesome repair tech David also our resident in-house bass player he's gonna play us a few riffs with the stock bridge Hey guys, so we're done getting that bridge off of that bass guitar, so we're going to take a little bit of a closer look to it and compare it to our KSM bridge to see what some of the differences are and how it's going to help your sound out. So here we have the old barrel style bridge. As you can see it's pretty simple in design and not much has changed on it for a long time now. Uh, the first thing we notice are the springs that hold these up. These springs is what adjusts the intonation and helps keep these in place. I can move these by hand if I want. And the thing about these springs too is after a while they're going to wear out. So what that does while you're playing is eventually you're going to have to replace these these springs. It's going to keep your intonation off also. Uh, especially the tighter you have them like this one here. That one's going to wear out pretty quick. These springs also, when I lose tension on the string, is actually lifting this saddle up off the bridge. This isn't even touching right now. You can hear it rattle as I push down. So what that's basically showing you is this bridge saddle is naturally fighting against the string and the string tension. And that's going to be fighting against the intonation and the tone and the vibration of the string through this instrument here. Also, for you guys that like to do uh, down tunings on your bass, you know, the string has a certain tension to it, and obviously when you're down tuning to lower notes, you lose a little bit of that tension the lower you go. Well, when you release that tension, we already know this one's fighting against your string already because it's not even pressing down on the body without having some tension. So the looser this string gets, the more I play it, the more and more the saddles are going to start to move left and right. You see that? And so this actually will happen when you're playing if you look at it. So these saddles, what that does, these saddles, that's when the screws start getting uh, out of alignment and uh, you need to readjust those. But also, this is going to be clacking against the saddle next to it and making all kinds of noise. That's something you definitely don't want to be happening while you're in the recording studio. So it makes a lot of unnecessary movement and noises that you shouldn't have to even worry about. Now the other thing you'll notice as you look at this is out of this whole piece on this bridge, uh, the, the barrel right here, the only two pieces that are even touching the body of the guitar are the two adjustment screws on either side. So that means when I play the string and it vibrates, the only part of this that's transferring sound are those two little pieces that are actually pressing against the body of the guitar. Uh, so it seems like there's a lot of space in there missing that could be used to transfer a lot more sound out of this instrument. Also too, these adjustment screws after playing for a while, they'll get off balance and one of them will end up being a little higher than the other. This will cause the action on the string to change as well as the intonation. So your tuning is going to be a little bit off. So basically you've got to have to adjust these uh, a lot more often than you should really once you have the strings on there. This should be the least of your worries as a uh, instrument player. You shouldn't need to worry about making adjustments every time you pick up your instruments to play. So let's take a look at the KSM bridge and see what some of the differences are and how it's going to help improve your sound. Here we are with the uh, KSM foundation bass bridge. Uh, 
this nickel one is brand new to the series we originally just had them all in black and this thing is looking pretty slick so first uh, well there's quite a few differences from this from the other bridge we were looking at the first thing we can look at are the string saddles here if you look at the bottom you'll notice there is no space under there whatsoever there's no screws on the top you have to adjust that hold that up this is 100% string saddle to body contact right there what that means is all the vibrations from this string go through that and into the body of the guitar and greatly enhance the tone of your instrument uh, you're not losing any sound whatsoever the other thing you'll notice too on the top here between the saddles there is no space whatsoever I cannot move these if I wanted to uh, these things are locked in solid there's going to be no rattling in between strings when these are vibrating at all the other thing too there's no springs in the background these are actually locked in place and once you install this and lock this clamp plate down here these screws aren't moving anywhere bottom line is once you put this on your instrument install it intonate it and tune up this bridge will never go out of intonation or need any adjustments again you never have to worry about anything after you put this on here and the best part is for you guys that do down tuning if this string loses a little bit of tension and gets a little looser like I was demonstrating earlier this bridge saddle does not start moving back and forth just because it got a little loose it keeps its tension on there it's solid it doesn't move there's no loss transference of sound at all so you're gonna greatly improve your tone bring out the actual natural sound of your instrument and not lose anything uh, any potential from the strings or your instrument there uh, so that's it I'm excited let's go throw this on that bass guitar and we'll play around and see what kind of a difference we can notice okay guys we are done putting this bridge on the bass our repairman and in-house bass player David is back on the bass he's gonna uh, play a little more and see if you guys can tell the difference KSM Foundation Bridge brings out the real tone of your instrument, giving you a lot more fuller sound and a nice bright crisp tone to go along with it. The best part is a lot less maintenance and hassle. And that new nickel one looks dang good on that bass. Check out more of these other products at the links below. bridge it's going to crush your base <laughs>